So hello YouTube, this is VRFX94 again. Uh, a subscriber to me told me um, when I got the uh, FX8220 and he said to me, oh can you do a benchmarking uh, compared to the older AMD quad core I used to have? And I was like yeah of course we're gonna do that, I'm gonna upload a video shortly. And I totally forgot that until yesterday. He told me again and said like, Hey dude, the benchmark testing, where, where are those? I was like, shit dude, I forgot that, so I'm sorry. But now I'm benchmarking the 8320 with the same graphics card I used to have with the quad core, the GTX 570. So I'm gonna compare them here now and see how much gain and you know, just compare them and see how much better the FX8320 is. So right now I'm benchmarking 3D Mark 11 and it's laggy like hell. It's got like 10 FPS, but it's got... So yeah, it's pretty intense. I'm running in the extreme mode. The extreme preset. And see how it goes. So uh, yeah, I've got the uh, GTX 570 here. And got the 260 here for the physics, for like a metro games, or those who are using physics, you know. Physx, I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna see here how, how good it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare the um, older AMD Phenom 2 X4 975 in 3D Mark Vantage, which I have already done. And 3D Mark 11, which I'm doing now. And, um, hmm, what else? I don't really have any gameplay footage uh, benchmarking, I mean, from the old quad core, so that is pretty hard to do. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna do a. Uh, maybe, um. Uh, versus in the Heaven benchmark also. So, yeah. So you got the point here right now, I mean, I'm doing my best right now, so yeah. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and dislike it if you <laughs> want to do so, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, see you next time, and uh, we're still on the Battlefield, friend. See you later. Okay, now, hello again, YouTube. Um, I just finished the benchmarking test right now. Um, I'm going to jump right into it. At the right hand side you got the old AMD um, Phenom 2 um, X4975 processor with the GTX 570. On the left side here you got the AMD FX 8320 with the... It says here... <laughs> it says here it got the, from the 260 that you can see here. But uh, that's impossible because you can never go high scores on the 3D Mark 11 benchmark, so that's just bullshit. So it's not, it's not, it's not the 260. It is the 578 benchmark from I know that. So um, anyway, you can see the FX got little, little higher um, uh, extreme scores than the older one. As you can see here. The graphic score is uh, a little bit higher. And the physics score on the hand is uh, pretty much higher. The combined score is um, a little bit higher, but not so much. The GT one, it's it's about the same over there. You got the so yeah. Here you can see it's not a so big difference right here. Uh, but the physics score uh, on the other hand is pretty much bigger. So we got uh, a winner here, it's the FX of course. So yeah, we're gonna jump right in to the next benchmark in a C in a bit. Bye. Alright, so now we have the 3D Mark Vantage benchmark here on the um, preset uh, settings, which means it's the standard settings you get on the free version. So we got P16572 with the um, 
GTX 570 and the AMD Phenom 2 X4975. If you scroll on here, you got the Game Ward 570 here, stock clock, and the stock clock here. You got 8 gigs of RAM here, so yeah. I'm gonna jump right into the next on the FX here, see you in a bit. Alright, so we got the uh, another benchmark here with the FX 8320, and you can see a big difference here in jump. Alright, so, oh, I totally forgot. Hold on one second, I'm gonna go back here. Okay, so I'm back, I'm sorry here. Uh, the thing I was pointing out is you're gonna point, uh, point out the graphic score and the CPU score here. Okay, so the graphic score, it's 19,722, you can see. The CPU score is 11,203. That is pretty good, you say, you think? Well, that's pretty good for that processor. Now we're gonna jump back to the FX here. We got the FX quad here. 8 core. The graphics score is a little bit higher with this processor because these processors do not bottleneck the 570. And the CPU score is how that is way, way much higher here. You got the 24 FPS right here. F FPS. 24,193. So that is uh, pretty much, that is pretty nice actually. So we got the uh, gain ward here once again, the 570. So yeah, you got 8 gigs of RAM here and uh, a little bit overclock here. So yeah, you got a pretty massive increase here. So yeah, so we're gonna. I don't think I have any more benchmark to show you here. I can show you the Valley benchmark with the older um, processor. You got 27 FPS and the score is 11, 11, 28. Mean FPS is 14 and the max 48. The reason why I didn't benchmark with the FX 8320 in this um, benchmark here get like the same performance wise I got like 27.9 and 1168 or something like that um, so this benchmark only benchmarks the graphics card so I think it wasn't really necessary to do that because uh, there's much a big difference there so so right so um, yeah you got the benchmarking here right now and the scores you want to see and uh, something like that so um like the video if you want to and uh we'll see you next time in my next upcoming benchmark video between the gtx 260 and the amd radeon hd 5770 or the ati radeon and see how they perform with the amd 8 core see you next time